American soldier Ramon Padilla was serving in Afghanistan in 2007 when his patrol came under attack. When the blast hit and the shrapnel severed my hand, uh, I was spinning up in the air. A little ham and turkey doesn't hurt anybody, huh? I lost a piece of my skull and uh, the hand that got severed was just laying on the ground. I looked at it and all I could see was my wedding ring on it. And I knew I had lost it. The first thing I thought was, how am I supposed to play catch with my little boy? Ramon was fitted with a prosthetic arm called the Bee Bionic. The remaining muscles and nerves in his arm control the 16 different articulated movements. I was amazed. I, was, I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was like, you got to be kidding me. We have this. This is going on. Here's your lunch. They told me, just calm down, and you know, we're going to show you how to use them. And from there on, just my motivation just you know, skyrocketed so high that uh, you know, it's just I, I couldn't wait. So if you put your hand down, you can feel this muscle working. And then you put your hand up, you can feel this back muscle working right here. Well, the way this works is that um, they isolate those muscles. They teach me to control the contraction on them. So how do you get that on? So what I do, I just I connect it, and then I just turn it a little bit, mm -hmm. and then the arm will reset itself, and, and there it is. And mm -hmm. that's when I know it's ready. In order to close it, i got to do a, a slow contraction. So I'll do a slow contraction on the inside. If I want to open it, I use the outside sensor. So I'll do a slow contraction to open it. Now if I want to turn it, mm -hmm. the inside, I do a hard contraction. So I hold it and it'll turn. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of free beer with that. <laughs> Jamie Vandersee is an expert in prosthetics and works closely with Ramon to further develop his arm. Ramon is a very amazing patient. Besides being a good test patient for products, uh, he really challenges us because when he does break things, he wants it fixed a specific way. It causes us to interact with the companies that manufacture these devices so that we can come up with better upgrades for the devices that we can then in turn use for some of the other soldiers that have been wounded. Ramon's found that with the prosthetic, he's able to take an active role in family life. You're welcome. Small detail stuff, it's, it's a little bit tougher. There's different ways to do it and you, you just gotta learn which way fits you best. You like that, huh? You like this hammer. There you go. The only bad thing about this hand, the pinch force is a little soft, so, you know, if I pull away, it'll come off away pretty easy. But uh, I'm able to, you know, touch him with it, or hold him with it. So I'm not afraid of pinching him or hurting him. Some prosthetic hands have already exceeded the grip forces that the natural human body can exert. So those manufacturers have actually had to put a circuitry into the hands to reduce the pinch force so that they're not, it's not unsafe. That's what daddy has trouble, huh? Let's just try this. Uh, I know you don't like that, I'm sorry. So all my kids, they really adjusted really, really well. They really did. I, I was actually surprised. I guess kids don't see anything but their father, you know? <laughs> it just... Well, Ramon's children may be used to seeing his new arm. Others are more curious about it. If a little kid would come up to me, oh, how'd you lose your arm? Oh, well, what is this? I would be more than happy to tell them, explain to them how it works. And sometimes, you know, the kid's looking long enough, I'll go up to them and I'll turn my hand around and, you know, I'll do this and, and they're like, oh, amazing. And the mom's are like, don't know what to do. And then I explain to them, you know, how it works and it's a robotic hand. And some patients will want something that looks very mechanical and very uh, Terminator kind of looking. Other patients will want something that's more cosmetic. I'm able to go out with my wife to the movies, hold her hand. That's what's great about these hands that look so, so real like your old hand that uh, people will not stare. In the last 13 years, more than 1,600 American soldiers have lost a limb in combat. The US government is pouring millions of dollars into research to ensure they get the best prosthetics available. 
this group of amputees is very active and it's really amazing to watch them get out and kind of interact and, and get back to their normal lives. They are changing the way people see disabilities. 